Hello, in this video we want to discuss situation when we need to control uh, parts uh, from the overall system. So we don't have ports, we don't have connectors and still we want to send uh, signals uh, and provide uh, triggering uh, actions from the overall system block to the parts. And in this case, as you can see here, robotic arm has joint and actually three joints of the same type which has the state machine this is that state machine and then uh, here we want to send different uh, different uh, commands to each different joint based on the set uh, coordinates and you can see here we are sending them and this, this is the method which we want to demonstrate and then they are received by each separate joint so let's see, let's set those uh, initial uh, commands. So you see uh, degree one, degree two, degree three. Some of them it's negative, some of them it's positive. And then once we send it, uh, you see it travels here. And uh, there are two main uh, things to check here. One thing is that uh, we are actually creating target objects based on those parts. You see restructure uh, feature action and providing as a target to send uh, event action and then also we are inputting values of the degrees to separate uh, send signal actions uh, and they are received here by the each of the joint uh, separately because the target is separate here for each of them when you're doing that um, it's important to specify this target uh, that's how you can send from this one to specific target different uh, uh, this spe specific signal. As you can see here, state machine is actually same for all of those um, all of those uh, joints, right? Uh, and it's listening for move signal and it's listening then for the value of the move signal. So when we are sending, we are really just can send the same signal to each of them, right? Because it's list all of them are listening the same signal and that. Uh, degree is different right and the difference is here when we are sending what is the target and the target comes from here again we can change the values here with our ui the based ui actually and send it and now we'll see that different values will be added into those properties of the signal and send to the appropriate parts you see those parts are changing uh, changing state based on the degree so if it is more than zero uh, moves right left uh, less than zero moves left and this zero is stays idle and as you can see here the state machine is actually an animation is accumulated uh, from all the different um, different parts and the real situation we see here only on the part where we see the state and we see the value here so now let's stop simulation and let's talk a little bit how this model is created so you can see here block diagram in that block diagram we have state machine for the joint this joint uh, is listening here for the signal and then getting property of the signal degree and assigning that to the block property d and then based on D, we have change event to switch move left and right. Then here we have in robotic arm, we have a state machine, which is actually setting coordinates. And here we have a state to move and compute the path. And this path is computed. And here we have this activity, which is actually again, sending the, adding the different degrees, reading from block and the different degrees to each send signal action. And then here, what we see, we actually send uh, creating uh, object self, adding it as an input to the restructural action. And this restructural action is associated with the parts. You see, this is the part which read that uh, gets as result joint object. So you can see here type of this is object and this object type goes here. So that's how we know to which part of that type go when we are simulating and that's pretty much it when we run simulation we see that um, we get web ui based on simulation configuration and we can control 
the simulation uh, nicely from UI. Even we could run server-side simulation if you commit to server uh, to Teamwork Cloud. But uh, the core thing, uh, what the, this model demonstrates is actually that we have this uh, um, simple model where we have a single block uh, using uh, three times the same part, uh, the same type of the uh, associated uh, entity like joint uh, and uh, because of the different uh, uh, structural feature as a part used in that block uh, we can reference it and send signal actions directly from the overall system to the parts and that's the primary way to do it hope it helps uh, please find the sample and uh, link to the community ways the sample in the description thank you